Welcome, here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. Russia should pay reparations for Ukraine war. The UN General Assembly has today called for Russia to be held accountable for invading Ukraine, including by paying reparations. The vote in the 193-member world body was 94 to 14 with 73 abstentions. It was the lowest level of support of the five Ukraine-related resolutions adopted by the General Assembly since Russia's invasion. The resolution recognizes the need to establish an international mechanism for reparation for damage, loss or injury arising from Russia's wrongful acts against Ukraine. It recommends that the Assembly's member nations, in cooperation with Ukraine, create an international register to document claims and information on damage, loss or injury to Ukrainians and the government caused by Russia. And Will the US send the deadly MQ-9 Reaper? Ukrainian soldiers are using shopbot drones as their eyes and ears in the trenches or flying them above Russian tanks and dropping grenades through open hatches. It's still shrouded in mystery, but reports have emerged of the use of drone boats in a recent attack on the Russian Black Sea Fleet. But will the US send its deadly Reaper and Predator drones to Ukraine? Controversial for their use in US counter-terror operations around the world, the MQ-9 Reaper and MQ-1 Predator are some of the deadliest UAVs ever made. Since the outbreak of the Ukraine war there has been speculation about if, and when, the hunter-killer drones would be donated to Kiev but thus far they have not been seen. Lieutenant Karl Lyshenko says there are a number of reasons why, including that many incorrectly see them as only useful for counter-terror. There are also questions, he says, about how well Reapers and Predators would survive in high-intensity conflict, with the added worry of the high-tech drones being shot down and analyzed by Russian forces. Others are worried that sending in Reapers would be seen as an escalation by Russia, he said. Former intelligence officer Philip Ingram told Sky News that an additional concern about sending Reapers or Predators would be the propaganda value for Russia. He argued that if, and when, one was shot down it would be paraded by Moscow and used to justify the war in Ukraine and accuse the West of direct participation. So, no Reapers or Predators for Ukraine then? Not necessarily.